This is uh, the timer automatic digital controller um, that I got for my incubators. Uh, as you see, it's fourteen fifty nine. Uh, it came from China. Uh, free shipping. Uh, that was the best price I found on eBay for it, and it's the simplest one. Uh, it uh, comes in 12 volt, 110 volt, or 220 volt. In uh, being in the United States uh, and using um, power off the line, off the grid, to use, uh, or I should say, on the grid, um, I use the 110 volt. It took about, uh, let's see, it doesn't say the date, that, does it have the date on there that I was bought, but uh, anyway, it took about three weeks to get here, which, considering it's free shipping come from China, that's uh, that's not too bad. I was pretty happy with that. Um, we got a clutch of eggs in the incubator anyway, so we can't do anything until I get, get those done, um, and cleaned up, and set up a new one. This is the eBay posting for this unit, and it looks just like it does in the pictures. It's a, a Will High, W I L L H I, um, this is a W H uh, 7016. Um, now, I said that's the eBay listing for it. That's the price. I bought four of them, uh, just in case, uh, in case it worked, and in case I wanted to make some more incubators. Uh, the one we've got is a pretty nice incubator, but it uh, there's a few things that could be different. Um, so here's the box that it came in. It actually came in a shipping package, that, uh, but this is the box that the unit came in inside the shipping package. Um, See on this side, we've got uh, instructions, and those are all in Chinese, and I can't read Chinese, so none of it makes much sense. Except in the lower portion, you can see that it's marked with a, a C in the WH7016, and then there's a check mark in the AC110. There's boxes for AC220, uh, 110, DC12 volt, and DC24 volt. Now on the other side, that side's not marked, but that side is written in English, and it says visit our website at www.willhigh.com and download a user manual, get more of the latest news and all that crap about the thing. Well, here is their web page. Um, a nice web page, but... Uh, Everything on it is in Chinese, and it's uh, got some nice pictures. It would be a nice web page if they had it in English, but everything is in Chinese or some other language that I have no clue what it is. But and they didn't, I didn't find a WH uh, seventy sixteen on their list anyway. So um, anyway, that wasn't much good. So I did a Google search. And we came up with, of course, a whole bunch of stuff on Google. There's a document here, WH7016H, thermostat product manual from Sheshnashwen Will High Electronics. Uh, that looked like it would be the thing to do. But, and there it is, WH7016G, thermostat product manual. Well, that's not the right manual. Um, uh, the uh, terminals on the back are completely different than the ones on the on the plain old 7016. Uh, none of the parameters are the same. So anyway, that was uh, that was not the right manual. So we went to the next one, the 7016G, and that's this one. Oops, that was the H. That gives me the same one. Anyway, it's the wrong manual too. So, looked at this page. That's digital temperature control thermostat switch from Markmart. So we go to Markmart. There's Markmart. 
and that's www.markmart.net and a whole bunch of numbers up there anyway this is the page you get and here is a link to a PDF file and so we come up on that PDF file and lo and behold that's the correct one for this unit and uh, there's no, no pretty pictures on it like the ones from uh, Will High but uh, the instructions the, uh, they're kind of confusing when you start out and you look at it but once you go through it a few times it's uh, and, and get the mission the indicator uh, the controller in front of you and start playing with it it's not too bad um, I'll go give a demonstration of that uh, momentarily uh, but that's the correct instructions for it is it uh, at markmark.com um, and that's for this unit oh, it's just a WH7016 there's no designator on it it um, let's see here let's go down the page and there is a little bit of a here's a diagram here showing the uh, terminal end and you've got one and two uh, it, it's showing 220 volt and the unit that I have is 110 volt so but they're they're the same thing um, as far as uh, physically it's got the one and two uh, and you can see the little switch here um, that's the switched uh, portion of it that's a relay kicks in and out and that's what you would put your heater onto um, or your cooler refrigerator or whatever and then you have three and four it says on their power and it says on the uh, on the unit it says power there and three and four so it says 220 volt input here well you put 110 volt into it on this unit um, and uh, now this doesn't have any power running through it that's just a switch just a relay so you either have power coming from your unit to this and then it runs through the switch and then back to your unit or what we did on mine was we tapped we just uh, took a, a jumper and put in to one of the power lugs on the uh, on the terminal block and run a jumper from the power over to one leg of the terminal block of the switch and then we can run um, a wire from the other terminal block of the switch to the unit but then you have to run the your second wire your common wire back to and in uh, junction with this uh, number four with the other leg of your uh, of your power in um, so that gives you gives you power but you don't need to do that if you have a power source in your unit already um, the number five and number switch six switch it says open switch there uh, on the unit it doesn't it's just got a bunch of Chinese uh, scratch on there um, but the number five and six you run a jumper from the number five to the number six and once you get your parameters set on the unit then that locks them in so it can't be uh, fooled with with the uh, control panel in the front nobody can change them and the other thing it says is once uh, that's done then if you get um, the power goes out or something when it comes back on then it will automatically um, revert right to what you uh, you had programmed into it now I found that when I program it and then shut it off and come back a day later and turn it back on it stays with the program that I had in it so I'm not sure that's necessary but it does render the unit uh, untamperable so it can't be tampered with in the front if you have these two pins jumpered seven and eight pins those are for the probe for the temperature probe um, and they're already hooked up the temperature probe is already hooked up to the seven and eight there's a what about a two foot length of cable on the probe that you can st stick out and uh, so but seven and eight are already wired in there there but they're for probe and if you had a different probe or something a longer one uh, temperature sensor um, some other type of sensor that you wanted you could hook into them there that would be where you hooked into them but, uh, but uh, anyway that's that's it it's it's simple um, there's the terminal blocks there's screws on the top side of it that you 
uh, open the screws up, uh, unthread them, and then down on the other face of the uh, of the block, there's slots in there that you can slide the wires into. Um, it's basically like just about any other uh, terminal block that uh, you've ever used. If you've done any wiring at all, if you've wired up a switch or a circuit breaker or, or anything else, it's it's pretty simple. You just uh, unthread the the uh, screws, uh, the lugs on the terminal blocks and that opens up um, the terminal block you can slide the wire in and then screw the, the sc screw back in, the threaded lug back in which pinches the wire down and holds it in place and uh, makes an electrical connection uh, and, uh, it's as simple as it can be and so that's that